Hey everybody, this is Chad Perkins from MoviesAndComputers.com in part two in our series looking at how to use Adobe Story for screenwriting, pre-production, and more. Now what we want to look at in this movie is how to actually do the writing of the screenplay. Now I can import, and this is what I have done because I came to Adobe Story a little bit late in the game. I'd already written some stuff in Final Draft. And I didn't have to rewrite that stuff. I could just go ahead and click on import and then import the files from Final Draft. And I could go over here uh, to these files that I've imported and double click on them to open them. Once we do that, we go from the projects view where we just were to the authoring view. And here we have our screenplay. And we also have some nice navigations. It automatically looks at all of the scenes in our screenplay. And we could just use this as a navigator where I could just uh, click here and see what's going on in that scene. Click it again to close it. I could double click on Jason's kitchen, for example, and I could jump to that scene in my screenplay, or again, click it once to get a little preview here, click it once to close it. And we'll talk about these other little uh, colored dots here in the next movie. But let me just go ahead for right now, I'm gonna close this again, because if we don't have a screenplay, we could create one from scratch by clicking the new button. And I'm just going to use the type film script I'll just call this uh, title Tester and go ahead and Create. And let's go ahead and go down to the next page and really start the screenplay here. Now, one of the things I liked about Final Draft is I could just hit the Return key or the Enter key, and then I could just type one letter. So if I want uh, a scene heading, I could just press Enter and then the letter S and then start typing my scene heading. Um, interior, uh, Kitchen and then dash, and then I have all these other options too. So we'll just say it's day. I'll just arrow down a couple times and hit return. I hit enter, go to the next line, and I start typing. It automatically knows that this is action. So if I hit the enter again, and then I hit enter one more time, then I get my little picker, and I could choose what type of uh, stuff I'm going to be creating right now. I'm just gonna uh, press the letter C for character. And then I could type a character's name, and then I hit enter, and automatically knows I want dialogue and so forth. So all the same keyboard shortcuts that I had from Final Draft are here in Adobe Story. Now there's also a few extra bells and whistles. I can right click on something and uh, look it up in the dictionary or the thesaurus. I could navigate pages down here at the bottom. I could zoom in or out. Uh, you wanna save this document. Now, when you save a document as you're writing, you wanna make sure and click this button that says save now at the bottom. If you use the standard keyboard shortcut, control S or command S, what that's going to allow you to do is actually save out this document as something else, as an HTML file that you could then have on your computer, which is great because Adobe Story doesn't just take your documents and then seal them up and, and lock them so you don't have access to them. You can write in Adobe Story and then save it out as another document so nothing is ever lost or taken by Adobe Story. So we'll have more tutorials on moviesandcomputers.com as far as how to write a screenplay, the mechanics and the formatting of it. But for right now, just know that if you already know screenwriting, Adobe Story's writing tools are phenomenal. In the next tutorial, we're going to look at what Adobe Story offers you as far as pre-production tools. So once the screenplay is ready, how do you get it from script into shooting and there are great tools in Adobe Story for that and again we'll look at that in the next tutorial once again I am Chad Perkins for moviesandcomputers.com thanks for watching